Let's get to Newcastle now. They are on the verge of completing a deal to sign Alexander Isak from Real Sociedad in a deal worth £58 million. We can talk to Sam Mulliner from Newcastle Fans TV. Good morning to you, Sam. How excited are you to get this deal done? Um, it's, it's hard to put into context, but I don't think I've been this excited for an incoming transfer at Newcastle United since Alan Shearer in 1996. And, and I've thought long and hard about this. This, this guy is the real deal, Isak. And when this takeover was first mooted, lockdown 2020, you kind of dream quietly and think, well, who could we possibly buy? And a 20-year-old Swedish striker by the name of Alexander Isak was, was my first choice. Um, he's got a tremendous high ceiling and bags of ability, bags of potential. And I can't believe uh, we've got him so soon into, into this project. Is he the type of, of player, I mean, you've touched on his ability there, but is, the, is he the type of player that you should be targeting at Newcastle? Is he the type of player that you need at Newcastle right now? Yeah, the options we needed were in that final third. We'd kind of sorted the defence, the midfield's almost there, but we were kind of missing that sort of marquee sign in, the marquee name to go in that final third. Um, Callum Wilson's obviously a fantastic striker and for me it is the best al alternative to, to Harry Kane when it comes to the England squad. But three games in and he's already got injured again, which is gutting for everyone. Um, so to have... Isak come in to, to to maybe surpass Callum Wilson, um, to put pressure on Callum Wilson when he is fit, uh, is just absolutely fantastic. He is the real deal. Well, it'd be exciting to hear from Eddie Howe this morning. We're going to hear from him from 10 o'clock this morning. Um, Isak's critics would probably say, well, he, his form's been a bit patchy over the last year or so. So what do you make of the fee? Uh, I mean, look, he's only 22, so uh, let's not get too bogged down in, in, in stats and whatnot because the potential is there for all to see. The fee, I know it's an obscene amount of money, however way you look at it, but when you when you look at Manchester United willing to pay 80-odd million for Anthony and, and the fee going round for Anthony Gordon, I actually think this is pretty reasonable. I, I, I don't think this is this is too high at all really because Eddie Howe's brilliant at, at getting the most out of players and then, and if Isak can reach his potential then we've got one hell of a player on our hands. And I had a look at your Twitter feed there Sam earlier and you were talking about Isak being Newcastle's Aguero types signing. Do you stand by that? Yeah, uh, I think it's definitely more Aguero than Roque Santa Cruz or, or Joe, remember him. Um, and, it, and it's all about building that spine of the team, which we've sort of done. Uh, inevitable comparisons between ourselves and Manchester City because of the scale of this takeover. And, and you could see that along the spine of the team now, uh, bringing in Nick Pope in goal. We've got Sven Botman in, who could be our Vincent company. Bruno, who would get into any side in the Premier League. He is that good. Um, he, he could be our David Silva. And now we've got Isak, who's, who could be our Aguero, our goal scorer for the next, hopefully, 10 years. And just one on outgoings. It looks like Dubravka, Martin Dubravka is going to Manchester United. Uh, I mean, he was your number one last year, right? Yeah, I've got nothing but praise for Dubravka. Um, odd one that he thinks he's got more chance, if he does make the move, that is, he's got more chance of surpassing David De Gea than he does Nick Pope. Um, but there you go, I suppose the law of, of Manchester United will always be there despite their, their form over the past couple of years. Um, look, we wish him all the best if he does go because he has been absolutely immense for us the past couple of seasons, as have uh, a few of the players that have left us this summer. They've, they've been with us through the, the dark days and have kept us in the Premier League. Sam, great to speak to you this morning. Glad we're giving you some excitement. Cheers. Sam Molina there from Newcastle Fans TV. Uh, Mark, Eddie Howe has spent money before, obviously at Bournemouth, but not quite on this scale, right? Yeah, this is it's very different from what Eddie Howe was doing when he was at Bournemouth, even in the Premier League. I cast my mind back to 2009 when Eddie Howe's first signing was Jake Thompson on loan from Southampton. And then he followed that up with big Steve Fletcher from Crawley, who came on a free transfer. Now he's spending just shy of £60 million on one player. Let's take a look at some of the deals that he has done whilst becoming 
uh, the Newcastle manager last year. You can see the players that he signed in January. Kieran Trippier for 15 million. Chris Wood for 25. That was a release clause at Burnley. Bruno there for 40. Uh, Dan Byrne from Brighton. Matt Target from Aston Villa initially on loan. That became permanent this summer. And then you can see Pope and Botman are some of the signings that they've made. That gives you an indication as to, to how much things have changed for Eddie Howe. And, and even at Bournemouth in the early stages when they got to the Premier League, they were signing players for 3 million and 10 million and 12 million. And Sam mentioned it there on the, the interview. One of the key things about Eddie Howe is he wants to develop players. He wants to develop people around him. He wants to improve them and he wants to make them better. And I think that's the most exciting thing with regards to Alexander Isak. Newcastle's record signing, but how much better can he become? He's a great player now. I think he's very raw as well. I, I have to point out, Sam's getting carried away, and rightly so. You should have that excitement, but he's going to take a little bit of time. He needs to get physically ready for the Premier League. He's got pace and speed, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, the physicality side of things is going to have to be something he's going to have to learn very quickly. But this is a signing that makes sense. When you look at Chris Wood at, at 30 years old, you've got Callum Wilson at 30 years old. When you've got Alexander at 22, that's a number nine that Newcastle can invest time in now. They're not going to have to buy that type of player for many, many, many years. And that's the exciting thing. He's got time on his side to develop, but he is going to have to hit the ground running. Yep, keep your thoughts coming into us. Hashtag transfer talk. Uh, Paul Bish said Isak is a great addition to the team and how is the coach to move him forward. And Stewart says Isak is a player Man United should have been looking at. Newcastle are getting a 20-goal-a-season striker without a doubt. Hashtag transfer talk for your thoughts.